Hello crafty friends, I'm Lean from Studio Kato and I'm so happy you're joining me again today for another YouTube video. Today I am going to make a really fun and quick watercolor background to just put a die cut on top of. I've done this before, but today I am combining it with my favorite stamp by WOW. This is the WOW Layered Brush Elements stamp set and it has these um, full brush strokes but it also has these open spaces like this doodled rectangle and i am going to stamp this repeatedly on my background i am going to stamp one line first just from the top to the bottom of the cardstock this is watercolor cardstock by the way because i will be doing watercoloring so you need appropriate cardstock for that and i'm using some embossing ink by wow but any clear embossing ink will do so I make sure to go over the edges with my design. Um, I just like the look of that and it makes it look like the design continues off of the page. Then I am going back up and I am interlinking those doodled rectangles with the ones I've already stamped, kind of creating a chain of them and two lines of them interlinking. It's really fun. You could leave it at that and not do any watercoloring after you've embossed this. And I'm going to emboss this with Gold Rich Pale, which is a gorgeous embossing powder by WOW. And yeah, it's really easy to stamp this. Like you saw, I just used an acrylic block. It would have taken me ages to do this with the Misty. And with this style of stamp, it doesn't have to be perfect at all. So I'm just heat setting this. I am working on a panel that is slightly larger than A2 because I'm going to die cut it down later. Now I can take my watercolors, and actually I'm using watercolor brushes, um, watercolor markers today. These are the Karen brush markers. And I just color a single stripe <laughs> along one of the edges of the rectangle. And then I take a huge watercolor brush um, or paint brush, and I just add some water. Now, if you're anything like me, you have a probably a little trouble <laughs> getting this loose watercolor look to work for you. I always try to color in between the lines and sometimes I can bring myself to purposely go inside the lines, but not always. So it just helps to use a larger brush than you necessarily need for a project. If you want a loose watercolor look, go for a brush that is at least a couple sizes too big for the job you're trying to accomplish and that should help you out by creating a for creating a fun loose background now these markers are very vibrant but i am going in with two or three extra layers here because i'm also using a lot of water with a big brush usually comes a lot of water which dilutes the color quite a bit now I'm scribbling some of that darkest purple off to an acrylic block and I can add some water and splatter it on for a more loose watercolor effect. I always like to add splatter to these um, abstract watercolor backgrounds because it makes it look a lot less intentional. Now once that background is dry, I'm going to assemble my card and I'm going to add a die cut dragonfly. But I wanted this die cut to really be gorgeous and not need a lot of extra stuff around it so i figured i'd make the cardstock really pretty with some embossing powder this is the wow sea of tranquility embossing powder it is teal with some shimmer in it it has some silver some gold it has a lot of fun stuff in there also some glitter it's just a really interesting embossing powder and if you just cover a piece of cardstock with that your die cut is going to shine so beautifully. It's always fun. Now, as I said, I was going to die cut that background down uh, so it could fit on an A2 size card. And I used the Pink Fresh Studio Blanket Stitch rectangles for that. So it has a really fun stitched detail all around the edges. And then I can assemble my dragonfly. This is from A Pocket Full of Happiness. This is my favorite shop in Europe, probably, for dies. Um, it is so gorgeous. Uh, all of her products are amazing. I love, love, love her dies, but she also has some stems. And I die cut the body of the dragonfly two times out of thick white cardstock. I'm layering one behind the first set of wings, then one on top of the first set of wings. 
Then I do the gold outline wings. I die cut those out of just some uh, matte gold cardstock. And then I can layer on the final body, which is also cut out of uh, that Sea of Tranquility embossing powder. I do it like this with the three bodies because otherwise uh, there's going to be a bump underneath uh, or on top of those two sets of wings if you want to add the body on top. So um, to avoid that, I just added a couple of layers in between. I glued that onto my cart and then I also add a sentiment. This is a sentiment I pre-made. It's from the stamp market, from the best wishes, and it's white embossed uh, on black cardstock. So that black outline is really, really pretty against that um, really bright background. And I loved it so much that I also added some black gems. These are the Ebony Opal Gems from Crafty Meraki. I'm just adding a couple on top of the dragonfly and also a couple all the way around. I really love these. These sort of look like an oil slick or an oil spill. Um, they're really, really gorgeous. I am trying to not use them too much because I don't want to run out. But these are so, so stunning. I'm adding those with Nouveau Deluxe Adhesive because that's quite a bit stronger than the Barely Art Precision Craft glue. And then my card is finished, but I figured why not make a matching envelope since I do that every time. <laughs> so I'm folding one quickly out of uh, watercolor cardstock. This is the same cardstock I made my card front out of. It's Canson Movelle 200 GSM cardstock. I masked off the top and bottom. I haven't glued this envelope shut yet because... Um, I'm going to do watercoloring on it and you can obviously fold it, fold it um, and glue it and assemble it already, but chances are pretty high that you're going to have watercolor on the front of your envelope in the end or on the back of your envelope. I still don't know which side is the front and which is the back, but on the wrong side of the envelope. <laughs> so uh, because watercolor well, it's wet, so it's going to seep underneath it. So you're safer just masking off the top and bottom of this uh, envelope as I have it done here. I did the exact same thing, used the exact same stamp set, used the exact same embossing powder, and I'm using the same color markers as well. I am taking even less care to color this because it's just the envelope and the people are going to throw it out anyway. Uh, but I really like that matching design on the envelope and the card. It's so fun to do. I think this envelope did take me quite a bit longer than usual. I think I spent um, 12 minutes on it. I think the footage was 12 minutes, yeah. So it's a little bit of extra work, but the card wasn't that, uh, <laughs> that long to make. So it's all fine. And I love card making, so why not spend a little bit extra time watercoloring the envelope? I glued it down with some new, uh, some Barely Art Precision Craft glue, and that's it. A really bright and colorful envelope to go with a really bright and colorful card. I love, love, love these watercolors, and I absolutely love the dragonfly. Um, again, this is from A Pocket Full of Happiness. I am not affiliated with them. I'm not even on their design team or anything. I just really love their shop, and I hope you check them out, because tiny shops like these have a hard time in the craft industry so i hope you give them a look over and maybe get yourself some really fun dyes she has really gorgeous products really unique products and i hope you treat yourself to something nice so that's it i hope you like this card i hope you like the video if you did make sure to leave a thumbs up on this video and leave your thoughts in the comments below i would love to read them you can also subscribe to my channel if you want to see more of my videos if you don't want to wait for the next time i upload you can also check the playlist i am linking on top of this video at the end um i will link to a watercolor playlist why not um <laughs> so you can check out some more watercolor videos of mine Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you next time.